So, congratulations, you got a job here at Appliance Factory Outlet. Now we're going to give you some basic tips on how to use a dolly and move an appliance properly. We're going to move a fridge, a range, a washer, and a dryer. Okay, there are right ways and there are wrong ways. I'm not going to show you the wrong ways because I have no desire to injure myself. Okay, you should not either. So let's concentrate on the proper ways to move these things. Okay, first we're going to move a fridge. Okay, now this is your standard side by side fridge. Piece, you know, it's not real big, not real tall, but what we have is a standard issue dolly with, that we get from the Plants Factory Outlet. You get the foam, you have to have some sort of protection of your dolly between your dolly and the appliance because metal on metal will make issues, will make problems. We have problems with the customer later on, we don't want that. So we have foam, carpet, something to actually buffer the fridge, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to line up the fridge, okay? Now, push a little bit forward, using your other foot, slide it in place, okay? Now, and the more you do this, the more you realize center of the fridge is not center of gravity, okay? Center of gravity is different from fridge to fridge. You will need to find that out. The easy way to find that out is once you found what you think is center, okay? Brace your dolly with your foot. And yes, I have steel-toed boots on. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have steel-toed boots on too. These will give myself one support in case I drop something on them because you really don't want to drop a fridge on your toes because then you'll have pancakes, not toes. We don't like that either. So put a good brace on it, okay? Give yourself good hand holds, okay? And you're gonna to want to pull it back, okay? You see how it all of a sudden wanted to go that way? That means I'm not centered properly. So what I wanna do is I wanna move my dolly a little more towards the direction it wanted to fall, okay? So now that I'm here, get your good foothold, get your heel plan, and basically it's gonna be pull back and lean back, okay? Once you get there, get your foot back under you, bring it up, okay? You can hold, you can do it this way, which I don't like because it doesn't give me a whole of, I can't see where I'm going like this because I'm basically centered my body in the middle of it. When you're dealing with a fridge, there is a balance point. If you'll look, okay, I can do anything I want with this just by using my arms when it's, when it's balanced right, okay? If I'm holding it down low like this, all the weight is on my arm, which means I'm gonna hurt myself. I don't want to do that, okay? When you move an appliance, you always want to push, not pull, okay? The reason is, if I'm going forward, okay, and I trip on something, I've got my arms here to make sure this gets out of my way, okay? If I'm going backwards, if I'm pulling, and I trip on something, where's the fridge gonna land? It's landing on me, I'm getting hurt, we got problems. Sometimes you have to pull it backwards, but you wanna do it as little as possible for as short term as possible, okay? So it's always wanna be, you know, the taller you are, the shorter you are, doesn't really make a difference because every appliance has a balance point that I can actually just basically walk it wherever I want it to go. Now, when you first start it, you don't just go into it. So it's a little forward and it'll start to go by itself because it's going to want to go out, okay? And if you want to speed up, you bring it down just a little bit back, it's going to want to walk away from you. Don't move a lot, just a little bit. And if you want to slow down, lean it forward, it's going to want to bring the weight back to you, which is going to slow you down, okay? So now that we've got it moving, we've got it to where we're going to go. Plus, doing it this way, I can look out either side that I'm walking and I don't lose control of my appliance, okay? That is very important. Yes, because you want to watch where you're walking and you don't want to run into something. Now, pick a side, stay on the side. Don't be going like this, okay? Trying to figure out where you're going. Look ahead of you, look where you're going. Once you know where you're going, pick a side, stay on that side. You want to stay about six to eight inches off the appliance that's coming in front of you. On the side of you, that way, you have a straight line. Now, if someone comes out that way, you can't see them, that's okay. They should be watching for you because they should see the appliance first and they should be able to slow down and stop for you. So when I set it down, okay, start leaning forward slowly, walk under it, put your foot back underneath it, okay, and let it pull you slowly to a stop, okay? Don't drop it, don't do it quickly because I guarantee you do it quickly and you're grabbing it, one or two things is gonna happen. Your hands are gonna come off, this is gonna slam down, you're gonna go that way, or if you're holding on too tight, too close, and when this comes down, it's gonna bring you into it. I don't want that in my belly. 
I like my belly the way it is, not holy. Okay, so let's not do that. So like I said, it's just lifting it, finding a good handle. And yes, your wrist strength will increase because you will be using a lot of wrists. And a lot of this is leverage. Finding the right leverage point to bring the machine over nice and slow, nice and easily. Okay, then I just walk out from back from underneath it. And now I'm ready to take this wherever I want it. Okay, and put it down, same thing. Get your foot underneath it. Then slowly use your weight as a counterpoint to where it comes down, okay? Now, the only fridges that doesn't work on are the big 36 inch fridges and the big, and most of your Whirlpool fridges. You will need a second person to push back for you, okay? And what I mean by that is you will put it here, you will brace here, and there will be someone on that side pushing the fridge over slowly for you to catch it, okay? But most of your world provisions, you're going to want somebody else helping you with it. So, now that you've learned that, let's practice some safe habits and let's not get hurt because if we do it correctly, there's a good chance we're not going to get hurt. If we do it incorrectly, there's a good chance we're going to get hurt. Thank you very much.